Hey, what's up, nerds? It is Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we're doing a little more old world. Uh, I thought I would talk about, um, you know, in part my own hobby plans for Warriors of Chaos and, uh, you know, just kind of throw some things out there for folks that uh, maybe need inspiration or people that are just kind of coming back to, um, you know, back to Warhammer after being away for most or all of Age of Sigmar or, uh, you know, possibly even further back. So um, I thought I would go through the, uh, like, current Games Workshop model range and pick out a bunch of stuff and make some suggestions for, uh, you know, some alternate models that are hanging out there uh, for folks to use. All right, so just some notes before we begin. Um, for those of you that are uh, not Age of Sigmar people, um, the Warriors of Chaos are really don't have just one army in Age of Sigmar. The, the closest analog would be Slaves to Darkness, which is where um, you know the bulk of these models live, where the old Warriors of Chaos models got uh, shuffled off to. However, there are also four other Chaos armies in Age of Sigmar, one for each Chaos god, Nurgle, Zeech, Slanesh, and Korn. So um, that those model ranges mostly have gotten a lot of new models as well to sort of fill them out and have really, you know, god mark specific stuff. Um, many of the units that are in the book in, or not, I guess it's kind of the book, uh, in the old world don't necessarily have models for them that are currently available. Uh, and some of them kind of didn't really ever have models for them, or at least it was just so long ago that uh, you probably wouldn't want to use those unless you were big on that nostalgia. The new sculpts that Games Workshop is doing are fantastic. They are great models. Uh, you can say a lot of things about Games Workshop, but man, are they good at creating awesome looking models. So um, the larger sculpts in particular, like monstrous type things, uh, those are a lot better than they used to be. There's a lot more detail. And because it's plastic as opposed to like the old metals, it you can go bigger and not have to worry about it all kind of collapsing in on itself. Um, so I'm going to go through a lot of models. I'm going to actually go back to models that were released in the end times as well, because that was really like proto Age of Sigmar, almost pre-release of models. Um, all of those things really definitely had the aesthetics that are in Age of Sigmar, the, you know, the more over the top, uh, high fantasy sort of aesthetic that we have now. So, um, and I think they were really priming the pump with models to have cool new stuff for Age of Sigmar. So if you uh, haven't been around since before the end times, kind of even miss that part, we can uh, go through some of the models there as well. Uh, one of the kind of rules that I'm going with here is that I'm just going to talk about models that are likely to fit on the appropriate base. I can't promise these are all going to like rank up really nicely, but, um, you know, it, they're at least going to hopefully fit or at least be pretty close where you can kind of fudge something, uh, for the appropriate base size in the old world. Uh, also most of this, I, I don't want to talk about stuff that's like significant conversions, like towards the end, uh, I think my really my last slide, I've got some stuff that is more conversions, but it's like bit swaps and riders and stuff like that predominantly, or just alternate models. And um, I wanted things to just be a reasonable match aesthetically to what the old world thing is, um, not just kind of throwing a model like, oh, this is cool. Um, something that actually looks reasonably like what it's supposed to be. Like, you know, if you want a, a Chaos Lord, and you want him to be marked corn, like, man, do I have a whole bunch of models for you that are just like the most corn heroes ever that would look great 
leading a model or a unit of neural marked chaos warriors in the old world. So let us hit some things. This is, again, I'm really just focusing here on warriors of chaos, uh, as that is, uh, you know, the range that I'm mostly looking at, and this is also, I think, one of the ranges that has just had the biggest expansion of new models that is also uh, being fully supported in the old world. So without further ado, let's look at some cool stuff. One of the first things to look at here is that uh, the this model range actually got a, a an update on the majority of the models in the range. So Chaos Knights, Warriors, Chosen, Demon Princes, uh, Heroes on Horse and on Foot, uh, those all got brand spanking new models uh, with, you know, the current level of uh, detail and excellence that Games Workshop has been putting out. Uh, new Demon Prince is amazing. And unfortunately, in Age of Sigmar, he's really not that good, so you don't see him on the table that much. But in the old world, he's awesome. So uh, I'm really excited to be able to actually use that model and not feel like I'm handicapping myself. Um, the aesthetics stayed really close to the old uh, Warriors of Chaos, you know, symbols and uh, general armor shapes and things like that. Some of the models are a little bit bigger, and for things like your Chaos Warriors, they might be a little bit of a challenge to kind of rank them up. But with the 30 millimeter bases that they're going to be on now, um, they're on 32 mils in Age of Sigmar. So they should be able to fit pretty well if you just kind of position them properly on the base. Um, so yeah, lots of awesome new models just basically in the range that have been updated and replaced. So these are really cool. I love it. And so let's move on to the next item so other stuff that has been released in slaves to darkness which is as i said like the analog of warriors of chaos in uh age of sigmar so just kind of looking through here i have like kind of my suggestions what i would think of using stuff as and yeah you know, where we have kind of a close analog here uh the first guy uh my Belor Dark Fang, I think that's how he's pronounced. This is actually like a special edition, limited edition model. Um, it comes with uh, like Chaos Familiars, which are, you know, cute little models, but you, know, you can do something with them. They're not necessarily, they don't necessarily have to go with him. Uh, he's a great sorcerer model to use, it, like lots of cool details, particularly because he's a, one of those like limited edition ones. Uh, so he's going to be a little bit harder to find. I believe you might be able to get your hands on him if you get a Warhammer Plus membership. I think that's where that was originally from. Uh, or, of course, eBay. eBay is always a thing. You can find them. They might be a little more expensive than you want to pay, but hey. Up next, we've got the Dark Oath Chieftain and the Dark Oath War Queen. Uh, I think these would actually be awesome for... Uh, having a character that is joining a unit of marauders, like they really have that marauder sort of feel to them. And, you know, your uh, chieftain, you know, guy with two weapons or, you know, possibly like great weapon. And then your uh, war queen, she's, you know, hand weapon shield. So that is, you know, they got some different options. They're both great sculpts. Um, love them both. And again, that models that have, rules that aren't great in Age of Sigmar, but they have uh, some great options here. Um, this bottom row, um, various different mounted characters. Uh, Eternus, Blade of the First Prince, that's in the lower left. Um, just for note for everybody, I'm, my listing of these with suggestions is, uh, you know, top to bottom is in the picture is going to be like top row left to right and then next row down left to right. Just just so you can follow along if you're not familiar with the model range. Um, this dude is um, a boss. He is an awesome model. I didn't realize how cool he was until literally last night when I built him. And uh, he, he's amazing. He is just like the coolest uh, hero mounted uh, on a, some kind of 
horse demon thing uh, in probably all of Age of Sigmar, everything that we've ever had. Um, uh, you know, certainly could be good for either uh, your just Chaos Lord on Warhorse, uh, or because he's got a head option that's really more, and actually some other bits options that are really more like mutated demon sorts of things. Uh, yeah, just like look at that tail. Um, it, he could very easily be, uh, you know, a demonic mount. Uh, up next, we've got the Chaos Lord on Karkadrak. This is, again, an awesome model. I've already painted two of these. I'm going to get more. He's just really cool. Uh, probably, like, aesthetically, probably going to be more uh, towards Demonic Mount. But hey, like, but it doesn't matter. Like, he could just be a guy on a, a just counts as horse and looks super cool. The last one, um, I love this idea that uh, popped into my head. This is the Centurion Marshal. This guy is actually a, like, a big old centaur uh so i'm thinking he would actually be a really cool option for a chaos lord on demonic mount he's going to be a little bit large for the base size um but i think you can make him work um he's just awesome you know it, not just a centaur a four-armed centaur with like a human head and you know, he's super cool. Um, a great, great model. I love it. Um, all right. Other stuff in the range. Moving on to the units. Uh, the Ogroid Theradons, I think, are going to be good for Chaos Ogres. Um, not pictured here is the Hand Weapon Shield variant that you can build with those as well. So you can get some different options. Uh, top right, that is the Varengard. Um, they are uh, knights that are, they're on a little bit bigger of horses, but I think that should still work nicely on the knight bases if you want to use those for alternate sculpts for knights. Could also just be good for your um, characters, like just, yeah, you know, maybe convert a few bits and just make them characters on horse or demonic mount, because those are also kind of mutated things, whatever they are. Um, and, you know, personally, I think I would probably use them as chosen knights because they look awesome. Um, they don't have uh, any command options. Like, they don't have a banner. They don't have a musician. So if you're going to use them as knights, you're going to have to do some bit swaps if you want command. Um, but that's fine. That's not hard to do. And, uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are just super cool. Um, the fluff for them in Age of Sigmar is pretty cool as well. They're... You know, basically, they're a unit of heroes, basically. So, um, up next, we got uh, Kagra's Ravagers. Um, so, this is from Warhammer Underworlds. It is one of the war bands from there. Um, sometimes these can be a little bit harder to get your hands on now because they were limited runs of them, I think. Um, but this is actually a cool mix of different things you can basically get four characters in one box for you know, definitely less money than you would pay for four individual characters and these also could just be great for unit champion options just maybe different sculpts to spice up your chaos warrior lineup and uh then also a guy that is a great looking cool sorcerer all right, bottom right, I did not just pull all of these models um, because there's a lot of different ones. These are all of the warbands from Warcry, which is the you know, skirmish game associated with Age of Sigmar. And most of the warbands that were released specifically for that game are uh, they're really cool, unique looking models. I think a lot of them would be just awesome looking for uh, having updated sculpts on Marauders. Uh, if you recall, um, Marauders are one of the units that did not get uh, updates in the you know, recent re-release, re re-sculpting of all of these models. Uh, these are great alternatives, though. They have all different kinds of themes to them. Uh, there's even more that aren't even shown here in this image. Uh, you know, the... Legionaries, I 
think are probably really good um, options. They're not in here. Uh, the Dark Oath Savagers are really good for uh, you know using them for Marauders, Spire Tyrants, same deal. Um, yeah, you know, with the others you can kind of go to something a bit more thematic, and yeah, you know, with some of them I think you can kind of uh, make them look like a particular Chaos market. Like I think doing Zinch would be pretty easy, and doing uh, uh, Zinch and corn would be particularly easy there's also one that is uh you know specifically a nurgle warband as well um that's going to be further down on the nurgle section uh when we get there um they're called rotmeyer creed and they're awesome models and they're cool in age of sigmar too like they're like good units so um those would be like great nurgle marauders if you want to do that All right, moving on to the God-Marked Armies. Let me get a little beverage here. Oh, talking this much into a microphone always just, like, kills my throat. So, get a little ginger ale to uh, help things out there. So, all of these are from the Blades of Corn Army, and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. They had tons of new models released. And so going through uh, the Slaughter Priest, um, you know, he has a big two-handed axe, so great weapon. Um, would be really cool. Uh, he could just be any any old hero uh, with a great weapon. Looks super cool. Uh, Gore Chosen of Drom, that is another Underworlds warband, but these are all look much more like they're all just heroes. So some more cool options there. I'm not exactly personally sure what you would use all of those as. Um, cause they're very cornate and like one of them is like a priest, which is not a thing really in, uh, uh, the old world. So I'm not sure how that would fit in, but I mean, they're awesome models. Uh, next one, exalted death bringer, another guy with an awesome big ax, uh, big shirtless, uh, dude that's been hitting the gym a lot. Uh, then next we got scar blood wrath. He's another really great model. Uh, the Realm Gore Ritualist, he's, uh, you know, he's a priest in Age of Sigmar as well. Uh, then we've got another alternate sculpt for Slaughter Priest. This guy is, um, like, hand weapon flail. Um, so if, uh, I don't remember if there's an option to give a Chaos Lord a flail in particular, but um, that would be a great model if that was the build out that you wanted to use. Uh, then we've got uh, Aspiring Deathbringer skull grinder and another exalted death bringer but uh that guy as a big old spear uh so lots of cool different options here uh if you want to have uh corn marked heroes uh leading your army to kind of make that stand out and uh more obvious that a unit is marked corn uh moving on to the units in blades of corn uh, we've got Blood Warriors. These guys are basically just, you know, Corn Chaos Warriors. They are, um, they're all basically like two hand weapon guys. Uh, they have a couple of different options for what they actually are, but uh, you're looking at the hand weapon guys, no shield for these. So if you want to have them with a shield, which is not really a corn thing anyway, but if you want to do that, you're going to have to find some shields to stick on these guys somehow. Um, again, another really cool unit there uh that just slides over into the old world beautifully uh then we got wrath mongers and uh skull reapers those are both coming out of the same kit uh they're two different alternate builds so i, I think these guys would be really good if you're going for uh some corn marked uh chosen warriors uh up next we got blood reavers these guys, I think, would be awesome marauders, and they actually don't have a ton of corn-specific stuff on them. So, you know, if you take, like, an X-Acto knife to these guys and just pop off, scrape off the uh, corn-specific uh, iconography that's on them, you could just use these guys as regular old marauders. Uh, I know people that have done it and just... You know, they're just marauders, and they're a much nicer sculpt. They're, again, just a bunch of shirtless maniacs uh, that have been hitting the gym. Uh, and then the Flesh Hounds, I think 
would be really good uh, alternate sculpts for the Chaos Warhounds. Um, those are, you know, old crappy sculpts. I definitely don't like the Chaos Warhounds, and the Flesh Hounds just look awesome. And there is also uh, a new sculpt for Karnak, who's a, a three-headed Flesh Hound. Um, super cool. Uh, he, you know, could make him... You know, I, I don't know if there's, like, a unit champion in there in that unit i don't know if that's an option off the top of my head um i haven't like committed all of warriors to chaos in uh warriors of chaos into memory yet um uh, also here uh these could probably be cool uh corn marked chaos spawn too and actually pretty pretty much any chaos spawn they, there's not a lot of like specific corn stuff on these so again you, you could probably take an exacto knife and cut most of that off if you uh are so inclined maybe fill in with a little bit of green stuff all right moving on to zinch uh disciples of zinch is the army in age of sigmar uh we've got the cursling eye of zinch he could be a you know great uh you know zinch lord also probably could use him as a zinch sorcerer he's got that nice staff uh that could be you know kind of a sorcerer staff then we got the uh gaunt summoners these guys are super cool there's also a variant that comes on a disc um so uh, i could just didn't grab a picture of that but it uh also just basically the same guy on a disc i think it's also a, a different sculpt of the gaunt summoner himself uh the zangor shaman uh this guy is super cool and of course it with or without the disc up to you uh great sorcerer option and moving down into units, uh, we got Zangor, uh, beautiful sculpts of those. Uh, you know, could also use these in Beasts of Chaos if you are so inclined, but uh, these could be cool Chaos Warriors or Marauders. Same thing with the Karak Acolytes, although they are much more lightly armored, so I think those would be more appropriate for Marauders. Uh, and then the last ones we got are the Zangor Enlightened. These are basically elite zangor and i believe they have a couple of different weapon options uh can be on disc or not on disc so you know just make them look cool uh that could just be an awesome uh, addition to the army if you want some you know zinch marked uh chosen i, I think that would really work out quite nicely yep. i definitely just hit the wrong button and that one to advance to the next slide uh hedonites of slanesh if you want to be uh you know, get some Slanesh marked stuff that is going to be looking pretty specific to that. Uh, the Lord of Hubris, the Lord of Pain, the Shard Speaker of Slanesh. Um, I actually have those backwards, but uh, so the uh, Lord of Pain is in the top right. The Shard Speaker is in the middle. Uh, Shard Speaker, obviously, could be a great sorcerer. And then the Lord of Hubris and the Lord of Pain, you know, it could be Marauders, could be Warrior like uh not warriors but uh lords either one uh could work out quite nicely uh for alternate knights for Selenash, we've got the slick blade seekers so similar to the old seekers but they are just like new sculpts that are much cooler and nicer so uh if you want some really distinctly uh slaneshi chaos knights definitely can go with these guys uh up next the last two models we have here for Slanesh, the Miramidesh Painbringers and the Simbranesh Twin Souls. These are also built out of the same kit. Uh, so you got some great options, especially if you want to just mix and match bits to have cool stuff that's a little bit offbeat and unique. Uh, these would just be great chosen, great Chaos Warriors. They're super cool. All right, Maggotkin of Nurgle. Man, this army just got so much love in Age of Sigmar. Um, and it's one of my personal favorites. Uh, actually, it is my personal favorite, number one, definitely. Uh, Rottmeyer Creed, that is, as I mentioned before, a Warcry Warband. I think those would be great Marauders. Uh, then we've got Putrid Blight Kings. They could be cool Chaos Warriors. They are a little bit big. They're on 40 millimeter bases in Age of Sigmar. Uh, they would also be fantastic chosen knight 
uh, warriors. I think that's really the thing that you'd want to use those for. Uh, and then you got Beasts of Nurgle that I think could be really cool chaos spawn. Just kind of fun guys to have around. Uh, then for your characters, uh, Lord of Blights, Lord of Plagues, Gutrot, Spume, all of those guys could be uh, you know, great uh, exalted heroes or uh, you know lords. All very cool. Some different options there. You know, hand weapon, shield, great weapon, and uh, whatever the hell gut rot spume is all about um er, the new sculpt for the rotbringer sorcerer he's really cool uh new harbinger of decay so that could be uh i think you could really go either with a sorcerer on warhorse or a um like lord on warhorse kind of works for either one uh, and then the last one, Horticulous Slimux. I think that guy would make a really cool like, Lord on Demonic Mount. Uh, he, you know, he says, a dude riding a giant snail. Uh, if you don't want to use the Plague Bearer guy that's on top, you can certainly find another rider uh, of some sort or to uh, replace that. Like, it, it's just a wild model. I love it. Um, I might have to do that myself. All right, and now uh, to round things out, just some conversion ideas outside of the Slaves to Darkness and, well, Chaos in general. Um, just to uh, see, you know, some alternate things, some conversions. Um, top left, uh, I forget this guy's name, but he is in Soulblight Grave Lords. He's, uh, you know, a vampire, but he would make, you know, a pretty cool lord, I think. It'd be pretty easily to... Uh, pretty easy to chaos him up. Uh, next up is Talia. Uh, she is riding this crazy manticore thing. The uh, the actual like Warriors of Chaos manticore is pretty fugly, so that would be a cool option. I think she might be a little bit big for the base, but you can probably make that happen, particularly because it's going to be like a solo model. You don't have to worry about it, like ranking up with other models. Um, so you might be able to kind of build something up and uh, up and out. So you can have the, you know, the actual base at the bottom and then, you know, flare out a little bit to uh, catch all of those limbs. Up next, another guy that is probably a little bit big for the base. I think this would be awesome. This is my personal plan for a Chaos Lord on Dragon. Uh, this is Ionis Cryptborn. Um, you know, he's from the Stormcast Eternals range. So um, you're going to want to take all of the uh, Stormcast Eternals Sigmar loving iconography off of this guy. Probably rider swap him or at least, uh, you know, use some bits to chaos him up. Uh, but that dragon is so cool and it's such a cool pose. Uh, you can't really see it great in this picture but man it is really cool uh top right other uh options for a lord on dragon uh those are uh oh, i forget the name of them they're knight draconis something like that uh, but they're really cool and yeah you get two of them in a box so you got two different uh options for them uh Bottom left, new direwolf sculpts. These could definitely be cool for uh, your Chaos Warhounds. Uh, in the middle there, Luca Vi. She is also out of Soulblight Grave Lords, which is you know, basically the, the continuation of Vampire Counts. Um, she's this big, crazy, mutated vampire thing. Um, I would think this would be cool for... Uh, Lord on Demonic Mount, or I think this would be, you know, because you see the wings there, this would be a really awesome alternate for uh, a Demon Prince. That would be really cool. Uh, and down in the bottom right, uh, our last item here are the Griff Hounds, which uh, could be, again, cool uh, Chaos War Hounds. Just got to Get rid of all that Sigmar stuff that's on them, all the like Stormcast iconography that they've got. So, hey, we're rounding out to almost exactly a half hour. This is, uh, I'm excited. There's a lot of really cool options. Hopefully this has been helpful to people or fun or interesting. I don't know, whatever. Um, 
you know, for the folks that are coming in here that have been away from Warhammer for a while or not really like connected to what's going on in Age of Sigmar, uh, just some ideas for you guys. Uh, you know, see what's out there if you're looking to build a Warriors of Chaos army or expand the one that you've already got. Add in some cool new models. So that's going to be it for now, guys. Uh, thank you for watching as always. And I'll talk to you all later.